Nearly 50 million kids in the U.S. are headed back to class, and across the country, districts are approaching security differently. In Indiana, Jay County schools have gun safes on each campus, where trained staff have access with just a thumbprint. Clinton Public Schools in Mississippi added a fourth police officer. And in Las Vegas, El Dorado High School is set for a $26 million security upgrade with cameras, single point entry and perimeter fencing. I'm here at White Plains High School in New York for an exclusive look at their campus security system. And with me is John LaPlaca. He's a consultant who works with schools across the nation. Let's talk about the security here. What's the first thing a visitor would notice? So as we approach the building, we're going to have a single locked point of entry for visitors. Uh, if they want to gain access to the building, the first step in the process would be they'd buzz in on the intercom system, which would be answered by security personnel inside. Hi there, it's John LaPlaca from Altaris. I'm here to visit the main office. So I've announced myself, and the security person has now given us access to the building and has buzzed us into the vestibule. But that's not it. We're stopped by a second set of doors where security scans our driver's license to cross-check against the sex offender registry and local banned persons lists. Okay, John, so now we're inside the school. What other security measures are in place here? So visible throughout the building, you'll see cameras. It also gives law enforcement the ability in an emergency situation to look at the cameras. What about the classrooms themselves? They have electronic locks, which will actually automatically lock in an emergency situation. Some of the best returns on investment for safety and security are things that cost nothing at all. Low-cost signs to help people provide 911 with their location and help responders outside find them. Oh, okay. Okay. We took part in an actual lockdown drill where teachers served as students. Assistant Principal Guy Vitiello, wearing this bright orange shirt, serves as a trespasser on campus. I'm in the classroom with teacher Daniel Furry, who shows us what happens when someone triggers the alarm. I'm going to activate the call. Okay. Students get to the safe zone. Students get to the safe zone. So you instruct your students to go back into the safe zone? Lockdown. Lockdown. Lock the doors. Stay away from the windows. Across campus, the alert can be seen and heard from these LED boxes. Furry is trained to quickly scan for nearby students before securing the room. So you go outside and make sure that there are no students in the hallway or you grab them to get into the safe zone? Correct. Okay. Come in, come in, get into the safe zone in the corner there. Lockdown. Go in the room. In an actual lockdown, only law enforcement can enter the building. Today, school resource officers from White Plains PD enter through a back door closest to our trespasser. Now, when you close that door, Mr. Furry, does it lock automatically? It does lock automatically. Police didn't want to reveal their tactical response, but told us the priority is to go straight to the trespasser and confront the security risk. White Plains Police, can you tell us why you're in the building? Inside, everyone remains in lockdown. Only police can unlock the doors and let them out. As you stand here in the corner, what kind of goes through your mind? Thinking about the students, you know, and what, how they're feeling and how important it is to reassure them that when they're here, they're safe, that we have systems for them to ensure their safety and their comfort and then reassuring them afterwards. White Plains Police Chief Joe Costelli says his department holds multiple training drills like this every year. These are decisions officers have to make in a split second. How important is training to that muscle memory? The more we do it, the more... Um, we will react in a crisis situation, a high-stress situation. The time to train is not the time when the crisis is going on. The chief says everyone in the community can make the difference. See something, say something. Look, we want to help anybody who may be in distress. Superintendent Joe Ricca says planning, practice, and communication is the critical first layer of security to keeping any campus safe. At the core of any strong security plan is always going to be the training Training, training. And our thanks to White Plains High School for having us. La Placa says, don't be shy about asking your school leaders what security measures are in place. How often do you train? What's the partnership like with law enforcement? As parents, uh, you really do want to demand transparency about the safety at your school. Don't be shy oh, about man. it. Man, Vicki, that's hard to watch, even no. though it's a drill to see no. in the classroom like that. How often did they tell you that these schools should be training like, like this training that you saw? 
It is so different. It varies by state what the requirements are. For example, here in New York, you're required to do these kinds of drills four times a year. In Utah, they want elementary schools doing some sort of training every month. Wow. But really, it's not just about the quantity of that training. Yeah. It has to be high quality as well. Absolutely. It's, it's just it's terribly sad. It yeah, is that sad. We're at no, a point in our country commentary. where these things have become commonplace. And, the, and keeping students safe, obviously, the priority. But teachers don't sign up for that. That's no. crazy. Teachers don't sign up for that. I know. And it is a different world. Yeah, and you're going to have more on Today All Day on this topic. Topic, right? We are. We're going to talk about school safety. Uh, our Consumer Confidential is totally focused on back to school safety. We have important information for parents, kids, and teachers. We also will talk about the gear that you need to get back on campus. It's uh, on today all day at 1130 Eastern today. You can see that on uh, today.com and Peacock as well. Important. All right. Yeah. Important, Thank, you. Important. Thank you as always, Thank Vicki. You. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.